The State of Israel was born in 1948 and recently celebrated its 67th anniversary. Few people have witnessed the country grow from humble beginnings into a modern state. But one man has not only witnessed, but also chronicled that history with his camera. Here's this classic story, one of my favorites, about one man's remarkable life. Israeli photojournalist David Rubinger tells his story and Israel's in a book called Israel Through My Lens. Like the day in 1947 when the UN voted for the establishment of a Jewish state. People were dancing in the street. The young kids on the morrow of the UN decision mm -hmm. to establish the state of Israel climbed, climbed upon, aboard a British armored car with the British police numbers on it and the British driver and with a hand-painted flag. He began as a freelance cameraman and later worked for years as Time Life's photographer. He showed Israel's first years, its fight for independence, and the joy of Jews returning to the promised land from all over the world. The idealism, the feeling, the striving for equality, social justice, uh, ashamed not to work. During his career, he's photographed nearly all of Israel's leaders, from Jerusalem's legendary mayor, Teddy Kollek, to its future Prime Minister, Shimon Peres, Prime Minister Golda Meir at the Knesset and in her kitchen, Yitzhak Rabin and his wife Leah having breakfast, and of course, Israel's first Prime Minister, David Ben-Gurion. His face was not something. I have it on the cover of one of my books. It's like granite, strong like a rock. He's covered Israel's triumphs, capturing the jubilation after the successful raid on Entebbe. He showed Israel's suffering through its many wars. One of my, my dearest pictures is one of, taken in Aswan in uh, 1980. A very, very intimate pose between two leaders after four wars and such intimacy. But Rubinger's most famous photograph came during the 1967 Six-Day War. For the first time in nearly 2,500 years, Israeli paratroopers captured Jerusalem's old city and the famous Western Wall. The paratroopers came to the wall and Rubinger was there. In order to get any little bit of, of uh, perspective, huh, I wanted to shoot from below and I was lying on the ground and shooting and these three soldiers just walked by. I got three frames nearly, nearly identical. Years later, Rubinger photographed those same three paratroopers back at the Western Wall. The men and their country have grown up. The story of Israel is remarkable and one of the miracles of our time.